At John Gay Speed Fit, we approach plastic plumbing from a totally different point of view. We're an engineering company at heart, and before we even started plastic plumbing, we market leaders in a number of fields, drink suspense, airing wing, and automotive. And we've learned a lot about quality and production from engineering. The speed fit fittings we market today are the product of lessons learned in these markets and from a quality point of view is impacted by the rigorous demands and testing procedures placed upon us by particularly the automotive market. These same high standards that are expected from us by the automotive industry are fully applied to the plumbing range of products. In fact, every fitting we do is made under one roof at a factory in London. To further explain how our fittings differ from everybody else's and what makes them better, I'll take you through making a joint and show you what makes our fittings totally different. We use a patented collet and this is what makes the, fit, the speed fit joint very, very easy to use. When we designed the fitting, one of our main objectives was to achieve a low insertion force. We did this by making a collet that was very, very simple to install and could move easily up and down the pipe. But the teeth are embedded in legs. And as soon as you try and remove the collet by pulling on the legs, the teeth dig hard into the pipe. And the harder you pull, the more the teeth dig into the pipe. And this gives us a very low insertion force, but a very secure fit in. What I'll do now is to take you through the process of making the joint and show you how you achieve this. The first thing we need is a piece of pipe and a cutters. Along the length of the pipe, we have cutting and insertion marks. And these marks show you where to cut the pipe and then the next mark acts as insertion depth to show you that you've pushed the pipe all the way into the fitting. So we start off by using a cutter. It's important to use a proper cutter rather than a hacksaw so you get a nice clean cut. And the cutter is just simply placed on the mark. You cut through and you get a nice square mark. If you'd use a hacksaw, you'd end up with burrs on the end of the pipe, which could then get trapped on the O-ring and cause a leak. But now we've got a really nice clean cut. The next thing we do is to push in an insert. This is a super seal insert and the insert is pushed into the pipe and because you've got a nice clean cut you've got a really good seal around here. Now we need to push the pipe into the fit in. This is a twist and lock fit in and as you can see it's named a twist and lock fit in because you can open the fit in to put the pipe in and then twist it shut to compress the components once the pipe is in. In order to make the joint, we open the cap of the fitting and we take the pipe and we push the pipe into the fitting. And we check that the insertion mark is up against the shoulder of the collet. This tells us the pipe has gone all the way into the fitting and now we turn the nut and we've compressed all the components inside to make a really secure joint. Although the process is quite simple, I'll show you what we've achieved by using a cutaway diagram. The cap is in the open position and the pipe hasn't yet been put in. And as you can see, when you push the pipe in, the collet legs have got room to move. So we achieve very low insertion forces because there's nothing holding the collet legs down. On this side, we can see the pipe has been pushed in. The cap is still in the open position, but it's now ready to twist and lock. In this position, there will be no leaks. It, you've made a secure joint. But by the action of twisting the cap shut, we push all the components together and compress them together, almost like a compression joint. So it's a low insertion push fit fit in with addition of a compression action once it's been done. So it becomes a very, very watertight seal. 
At Speedfit, we pride ourselves on producing plumbing products with innovative engineering solutions. There's lots of different uh, examples of this within our range, and most people are quite surprised when they realise the extent of our range and some of the, the solutions we have to, to common problems on site. A good example of this is our new 15mm double check valve with a built-in isolation valve. As we know, when well, lots of plumbers will know, uh, myself included, that it's not always possible to fit loads of fittings in a confined space. Uh, it can be very difficult, for example, in the kitchen units to fit everything that you need. The traps, the taps, the tap connectors, the washing machine valves, double check valves. And very often, the, just one or two sort of uh, additions by the householder will, will tip the balance. Now, up until now, if when you fit in an outside tap, you'd have to put a double check valve and an isolation. Well, that can take up quite a lot of space. So what we've done, rather than have two fit-ins, we've introduced uh, a new fit-in that will combine two valves in one uh, and should save you some time. This is the item in question. As you can see, it's a double check valve, but rather than having to fit a separate isolation valve, we've built it in for you. So in the winter time, when you need to drain down uh, and shut off your, your outside tap to prevent freezing, one small, neat, easily installed fit in, and it's definitely space saving. It's a lot neater, it's a lot quicker, and it's cheaper to boot. One of the things that plumbers keep reminding me of, um, and from my time on plumbing, I remember it really well, is trying to put uh, a connection onto a ball valve, especially if it's a plastic ball valve. You all know it either goes on first time or you're there forever trying to put it on. And every time somebody tries one of our hand tied tap connectors, they're just hooked. With a metal one, it either goes on first time or you can be there for about a quarter of an hour and it keeps cross threading and cross threading and cross threading. Well, the hand tied tap connector, it's a fixed plastic head, it's held straight and it's plastic onto plastic and it goes on first time every time and when we say hand tight that's what we mean hand tight. There's no tools needed you, and especially when there's small gaps and you're lying down on the floor trying to connect onto the bottom of a toilet you can't see very well and you know that that metal tamp connector is going to cross thread this is the answer and every plumber that's tried this is hooked they never go back here at john guest we've carried the philosophy of making life easy for the plumber over to our underground range and i'll show you here what i mean as you know with the underground range as it says in its name it's usually installed in trenches it can be in muddy conditions you don't really want to spend too much time and expend too much effort down in a, in a wet trench. So, exactly the same as with other um, John Guest fittings. We cut the pipe nice and clean, very easy to keep clean in a, in a trench. It's, it's one tool and it's plastic, so it's nice and easy. You put the insert in, make sure it's in firmly, and it's very, very simple. When you're using other brands of underground fittings, you're told to take the fittings apart, put them together, and then tighten it. Well, you don't really want to be taking things apart if you're in a muddy trench. And when they say tighten it, how tight do you do it? Do you use a, a, a small grips? Do you use an 18 inch Stilson's? Do you use your hand? How tight is tight? I'm sure everybody's got a different interpretation of tightening up. Well, we've engineered that out. All you do with our fittings, you push it in, that's it, the joint is made. Yeah. There's very, very little to it. Um, and if you do want to take it apart, you just take the, the cover off, push the collet apart and take it out. But we've engineered out 
all the difficult parts of making an underground connection. Now I know which one I'd rather use. We've recently introduced lay flat pipe. The installers really love this product. It gives you all the benefits of a straight pipe, yet it's very easy to, ca to carry around, very compact, easy to go into your van. And here's a clip to demonstrate its benefits. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the JG Speedfit Test Lab. Come, let me introduce you to the wonder that is Speedfit Lay Flat Pipe. Our first stop, a thorough investigation of Speedfit Lay Flat's flexibility against traditional PEX coil alternatives. Good. On to test lab two, where we are testing to see if lay flat pipe really does, um, well, lay flat. <laughs> Voila! fine so far. The team in Test Lab 3 is observing how easy to handle speed fit lay flat is. Goggles are of course <laughs> essential. What, what, what a marvellous thing. Here at John Guest Speedfit, technical support really does mean something. We have a very good help desk. We employ bona fide ex-installers who are quite happy to come and visit site to advise on any project. We have a comprehensive range of literature and there's loads of information on our website. Mm -hmm.